With all non-essential activity forbidden from midnight on Sunday, National Security Minister Stuart Young announced on Friday the businesses and services that will be allowed to operate during the next two weeks. While some businesses will be allowed to maintain some semblance of operation, only essential staff members will be called out to work. Crystal Wilson has more in this report. National Security Minister Stuart Young has listed what government considers essential services. The need to list essential services follows the Prime Minister's announcement on Thursday that come Sunday, all non-essential activity will be forbidden for the next two weeks. So come Monday and until April 15th, people are not to leave their homes unless absolutely necessary. According to the National Security Minister, among those considered essential are members of the judiciary and legal services, manufacturers of food, beverage and pharmaceuticals, as well as financial institutions and members of the media. Private security firms, estate constables and special reserve police. Social services such as social workers, including non-governmental organizations that work with the socially disadvantaged and vulnerable. Support to ensure the effective removal, storage, disposal of residential and commercial solid waste and hazardous waste. Also on the essential services list are Trinidad and Tobago Police Service, the Trinidad and Tobago Defense Force, Immigration, the Strategic Services Agency, Hospitals, Telecommunication Service, Funeral Homes, Sanitation Workers, Prisons, Rehabilitation and Detention Centers, Children's Homes, Differently Abled Homes, Private Security and Supermarkets and Pharmacies. Members of the public found in breach of the guidelines could face a hefty fine of $50,000. At the end of the day, it is going to be the police with the assistance and support of the Defense Force who are going to be policing this, who are going to be ensuring that we abide by this. Everybody who is out there come midnight on Sunday, please walk with your identification. Minister Young stressed that essential services are required to operate at a minimum capacity. We're saying that persons, all persons, should not be at any workplace unless they are deemed to be an essential business and all workers shall work from home unless you're in essential business and then even then only the essential workers. The minister said the list could be expanded, however government has no plans to do so at this time. Crystal Wilson, TTT News. Government has announced the suspension of all National Lotteries Control Board operations. The move comes as government escalates its call for persons to stay home as the country continues to tackle the COVID-19 virus. At Friday's Ministry of Health press conference, the National Security Minister said the NLCB is not an essential service. NLCB operations will be suspended until the 15th of April. It's certainly not an essential service. Another one that I was just asked about here, Minister Cox, if I may be permitted, is the Chambers of Commerce. The Chambers of Commerce, well, a Chamber of Commerce is asking whether they're considered essential services. The answer is no. Also, with immediate effect, all licensed public transport service vehicles are to operate at 50% passenger seating capacity. Public transport and motor vehicles shall be going forward limited to 50% capacity. So that is all licensed motor vehicles or maxi taxis or PTSC buses and or motor cars that provide transportation as taxis. We are going forward on the basis of the medical advice given to us, the Minister of Health, after a cabinet decision is saying that only 50% of these vehicles should be